Okay, I'm checking if my notes has anything for you or not. If not, then, then not. Hmm? <laughs> what to do? Oh, okay, yes, maybe something for you. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, buy mechi tomato, I don't think that's for you. <laughs> Actually, this time I just came to tell you that the planet's lifespan has been expanded, you know? and accept some of the very, very, very naughty people. Most of the world population has been uplifted. Aww. Though they still live here, but the level is higher, you know, a third level at least. Aww. So when they die, they won't have to go to hell, but it's up to them. If they do something wrong, then maybe, maybe the Lord of Karma won't like it. Understand? But uh, up to now, everybody, mostly everybody, 99.9% .9 has been liberated. <laughs> it's like a little office here. <laughs> like a kindergarten when I'm teaching you. <laughs> Can't even repeat the whole sentence. Just like children, very lovely children. Okay, okay. As I have told you already uh, last time about how to spot the enemies, if you requested to know. Yeah. Uh, there are some little thing more I want to remind you. Maybe it's important that you know. Because sometimes the person is so bad, they could cause you damage, you know, physically, mentally, or emotionally. Too bad that you could not even get up and leave again. Understand? Maybe you're still walking, but your mind, your heart, your physical is very, very down, yeah? And that is very bad. So if it happens, you have to meditate a lot, a lot more or do something about it. Understand? Yes. Because some enemies, you would think enemy come back and beat you up or anything like that. It's not necessary, okay? Unless he beat you up in the last life, he beat you up again this lifetime. Or he beat you up, you beat him up in this lifetime. <laughs> you see what I mean? It uh, go around. What go around comes about because, you see, most uh, enemies come back in this lifetime because we need to love. You understand? Last life, we couldn't love or we don't feel love, so we come back again because that's why we became enemies. Because love was lacking in the house. Don't think that you married somebody, that's enough. No, you have to show love, okay? Love is not sex. Understand me? That's just by the way, okay? Love is showing affection. Love is caring for each other's feeling and need. Yes, taking care of each other so that you feel happy, you feel loved, you feel needed, you feel secure in each other's companies, and you feel trust, understand, between each other. That is what marriage or a relationship is for. Yes, so do not hesitate to show love anytime. It's just a hug or a peck on the cheeks or just something, I miss you, or a surprise, a chocolate piece, anything, okay? Always make your partner feel loved. That's important. Even now that you know or you spotted that this is your enemy, never mind, continue and win it over, okay? Because we are the winner. We're not loser. We win anything. We win enemies. We love enemies, yeah? Now, there's some enemies that are too bad, too bad. And maybe if you cannot bear it, then you have to do something about it. Or um, avoid, okay? Avoid if possible. Otherwise, if the injury to your soul, your heart, your emotion, your spirit, your mental, your psychological, your psychic being is too great, then it's not worth it to keep suffering, understand? Because in the former lives, we have been enemies because of lack of love, yeah? It could have been misunderstanding. It could have been the war that separate brothers and sisters in the same nation and the same religion, same family, same idea even, understand? Because humans in this world 
are to come here to give and take again and to redeem the past mistakes, but sometimes we don't do it. No matter what reason, if we have been enemies in the past, in this lifetime, if you're already there, then try to love more. Patient, okay, and love. Mm. In the former lives, why we have become enemies? Because we are separated. And after being enemy, we feel even more separated. So in this lifetime, we met each other again. Shoom! Love at first sight. Because we long. We long to be one again. All of us inside long to be one with God. Long to be one with each other. Because we are all one with God. So if we are enemies, we feel bad. We feel separated. We feel hurt somewhere. We feel needing something. We feel lack of something. Uh, we just don't know what. It just feels terrible. So when we come back in this lifetime, if we didn't make it up in that lifetime, when we come back this lifetime, just any stranger on the street, you just see him or her. Oh, you feel your heart. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah? You want to go make friends with him. You want to love him. Or want to love her immediately. Because of the separatedness that you felt in the former lives. So mostly, I say, enemies meet each other, become lovers. Okay? Well, manage it. Huh? If you already have. But sometimes uh, you can spot it or not spot it. Or sometimes you're too blind. Love makes blind. You don't see it. Huh? Nevertheless, you know, whoever hurt the other person, it's not the hurted person we get hurt in the long run because the hurted person will be rewarded. The one who hurts others, that's the one who will be more and more separated from God and having some different uh, measurements against him or her after the physical life or even in the same physical life. Hmm? But the one who got hurt always because soul, the soul is always God quality, always loving, always forgiving and always very, very kind. The soul, not the mind. Eh? So the one who got hurt Deep down, always feel sorry for the one who hurt him or her. And then the one who hurt that person, also deep down in the heart, feel very, very sorry for having done so. So that's why if they separated, they die uh, in that lifetime and haven't had a chance to make it up, to iron it out, to love over the hatred. Then in this lifetime, they come back in this world, they have a chance. This is a world to give all beings a chance to redeem the past mistakes. But we have to remember it. If we have some certain pattern of uh, destructive quality, then we might have done something wrong to someone in the past life. Okay? Then try to correct it. Try to be more loving and kind to everyone now. Okay? And if you spot it out that you are enemies, because deep down in all of us, we have this all-knowing, all-loving, almighty, all-kind, all-enlightened soul within us. Yeah? That is God yes, in the, this temple. So if we hurt someone for any reason, we feel very bad inside. Even if we don't express it, we don't say sorry, we don't look sorry, but we do feel sorry. And the person who has been hurt, also the same, has the soul. So even though get hurt, still feel very sorry for that person who doesn't know what he or she was doing. That's what we feel. Same like animals. It's okay, you can sit. You want translation? Oh, okay, go, go, go. Uh, can you go that way? Go here, 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 it's quicker. Come. <laughs> Lucky I'm slim, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she, they have to go up to translate. Okay, guys, you done, huh? Tell me when you're ready, translator. Hmm? You ready? Oh, my lipstick's gone. Hmm, everything gone. <laughs> I'm a natural beauty now. 
<laughs> I hope. You done? Perfect. Okay. All the translators are there? Yeah? Where's the Mongolian? I didn't see her. Ah, yeah, okay. Good, good. See you. Okay. Now, I have to continue. I cannot repeat, huh? You just tell them that we're talking about enemies and love. Yeah? To sum it up and then we continue. How to spot the enemy and how to erase enmity. Okay, so both of them, at the time of being hurt or at the time of hurting, felt deeply sorry inside, huh? Even not consciously, but maybe subconsciously. So, in this lifetime, when they bump into each other again, oh, immediately they fell in love because they want to express this love and the other one wants to express this forgiveness and love. Both want to express love. And that's how human love is born between a man and a woman or between even family members, okay? Even mother and son and daughters. Father and children, etc. Huh? Or relatives. I don't mean just between man and woman. I could be between woman and woman. Could be between men and men. Okay? Love is different. Love is love. <laughs> They even cannot tell their heart whom to love. So how can anybody else tell their heart <laughs> whom to love? You understand me? When they fell in love, they, they just desperate. They just fell. That's why they say, Fall in love. Fall. <laughs> Helpless. Just fall. See what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise, they would say, rise in love, no? <laughs> oh, ascend in love or climb in love. No. Fall in love. He or she just fall. Can't help it. Keep falling. <laughs> Now, so the English is not too bad. Mm -hmm. You see, so in this lifetime, if they happen to meet each other again, oh, immediately fall in love, yes? Almost like that, you know, like love at first sight. But because of the nature, nature of the past karma, so they are bound to have conflicts and trouble again and again. Because mostly, before we were born into this world, we promised to make it better this lifetime. But when we are born, after the age of three, four, we forget totally what we have done in the past and what we have promised with heaven. So here goes again and out in the world and meet the enemies again and it begins similar stuff again. It might not be the same, it's just similar, okay? But... Uh, So therefore, harm might still take effect, even, even unintentionally, yes. But if a person, you, 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 you feel that he or she is your enemy, in a, in a small way, it's okay, understand? Like, okay, he caused you to lose a lot of business or uh, injure here and there, now and then, okay? Or emotionally upset that we all can have and endure. But if... Sometimes the karma is so bad, so bad, it exceeds 50%, like 60-some percent, or even 50% is very unbearable already. And both cannot make it, or one partner cannot redeem it. Then it could happen, many major things, you know, like accident, and, or maybe you feel depressed, you lost your self-confidence, it caused you to even want to commit suicide, or really ends your life. This, when it comes to this situation, then first you have to stay away for a while to think about it. Think about whether it's good to continue to keep relationship. Understand? Yes. Or the person continue to oppress you or to cause you trouble. The worst is that to stop you from spiritual practice. Yes, then it's, it's a very, you are in a bad shape, okay? Then you have to think about what to do about it. Not to hurt him or her back, but have to think about a way to protect yourself before something worse happening, okay? Mm. 
If you begin to feel bad, depressed because of this relationship and continuously, and it doesn't, no matter how you try, the other person just don't change or cannot be changed, yes? And then the relationship make you also continuously blaming yourself for anything, even though it's not true, it's not your fault. And you know that, but somehow you keep blaming yourself for everything that happened, even if it's his or her fault, not yours. And you know that, and you still blame yourself, and then you keep more and more depressed, and if you want to kill yourself, then you have to stop. Okay? Rescue both of you. Because if you stay together, then what become of you? And what become of the other person? Understand? Or if that person is abusive to you, huh, too much, then you have to go also. Understand that? Hmm? Okay. Sometimes a relationship is so bad that you always feel humiliated, you know, the two lovers. Normally very love, <laughs> so much love at first sight. And after honeymoon over, things different. And it's very bad for you, okay, in many different ways, little ways, slowly, you will realize it's a bad, bad deal, huh? But sometimes you cannot get out. You don't want to, or you're too weak, or just so addicted to pain. Some people are. But you have to notice, uh, too much is too much, okay? Get out, huh? Don't let yourself get hurt too much, huh? Ah, uh, you know what? I think I have to write a letter to all the governments again and to thank them for everything that they try and uh, to thank all the people that have turned into vegan and uh, to stop uh, butchering and all kind of organizations who try to protect this planet in different ways, uh, protect the environment, even sometimes risk in their lives. You know, sometimes they do. Like sometimes the green peas or um, well protectors or seal protectors, uh, forest protectors, you know, sometimes they, they risk their life with their bare hands. They just go right into action where the trouble, the aff afflicted area is and just stay there or fight with whatever they have, bare hands and their will. And the power of love. I don't have enough chance to salute all these people, but maybe I could write a letter and send to governments and all these organizations, thanking them on your behalf, eh? As well, huh? And I also thank you, huh? You also contribute to this lovely, loving energy of the planet. And together, we can save the planet and give her longer life even, not just 58 years. It will continue. We will also have to thank heaven, eh? Thank heavens for blessing us and for helping us and for gracing us with all possible power so that we can save this planet, yes? Because this is a lovely planet and many people still want to Im improve themselves, yes? Maybe they haven't done it, but they will. Mm. If everybody else improve, he has to, right? No choice. <laughs> just like here. At home, you just go to sleep. Here, everybody sit. You have to sit. <laughs> There's no, no, no place to lay down. <laughs> and if you happen to lay in the back, then the person push you back up. You know, the person behind you will push you up again. And if you ride to the front, then the front person also push you backward. And if you're on the left, on the right, it's all the same stuff. <laughs> so if we just improve ourselves, everybody else will, huh? Uh, yeah. So, by the way, your time here is short. Try not to sleep, okay? Yes. If it's too hot here, you go in garden, meditate. And if you sit, then of course you also sleep. I see that, but you have a chance to wake up again and meditate. But if you lay down, that's it. Say Yonara. Bon and arches. Bonui, good night. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis morgen. Yeah, I, we will also make a press release or something, and we can uh, give it to all the press also. 
on the TV station. Tell them that uh, we, with their help and effort, we have saved the planet for some decades. And then we continue, not, not just that, huh? it's a good news. Nah. Oh, well. Man, I haven't finished the enemy, why I come to this? <laughs> Because all my notes are upside down, inside out. Okay, okay. And then sometime a relationship, not only because of the, the, the heavy karma of the enemies between you, huh? so heavy that sometimes the relationship not only don't make you feel happy and bright and confident and pretty and feeling uh, lovely and loved, but feel more depressed and isolated from other people, sometimes even forbid you to, uh, how you say, to see your friends with no reason, understand me? With no reason, yes. And not like he has to hide or something, that's different, but, you know, in a normal relationship and the person is so possessive and so oppressive that don't, don't let you even live, you know, can't even breathe. Uh, and you, you feel lonely without them, so you can't break, but you feel lonelier with them also, and you can't break. This is a problem. Mm? You can't live without them, you can't live with them. And then you have to think of what to do. But I'm not sure you can. At that time, maybe very weak. No immunity. No, no power, no energy to wake up and go. Try your best, pray. In that case, meditate more, you know? Talk over to other people, other friends who understand you and help you. And maybe you get... Uh, better idea how to deal with the situation, okay? Don't keep it all by yourself. Hmm? Uh, in some relationship, one partner seems to just take in, take in, take in, you know? And not giving, not give anything, all the time. And after a while, you know, even, uh, even though you are a very loving and giving person, but you are like, uh, how you say, drained. Yeah, exhausted. And you don't even know what to do anymore. And you just seems to surrender to the situation and get worse. Then uh, please uh, try, huh? Try to think about what to do about that. If you give more love, more patience, uh, and it doesn't work, then you have to think about yourself a little bit, okay? Talk over with your friends, see how we can do how better to deal with it. Don't, don't do it all by yourself because alone, and when you're in that situation, you're involved in it, you can't even think clear. Talk to a third person or something, your trusted friend, yeah? And then maybe find a solution. Some are so bad, they even make you hurt yourself or even kill yourself. You know that, huh? Because you keep repeating, repeating, and, and you're just too weak and you just blame yourself for everything and you said, too depressed to even think of, of your life worth. Don't ever kill yourself for anybody or hurt yourself for anyone. Understand? We only surrender to God. No one else is worthy. Understand this? Don't ever, because if you kill yourself, you go into a very, very low area. I'm not threatening you. It might happen that to, you to so depressed and you go to low area, low level, and you can't even think anymore. You can't even remember anything. That's why hell people continue to be in hell, because they can't think, they can't pray. They suffer too much. <laughs> they only scream and yell, they cannot pray, understand? They cannot think of praying. They don't remember God. Just constant pain, how can they remember? Understand this? Mm. For everything that go wrong in the relationship, if it is an enemy relationship, Mostly you will blame yourself, if that is a real enemy. And then sometimes you get sick because you're too weak, you know, too stressed out and you'll be sick, you become sick, uh, irrecoverable. Sometimes not hurting you physically but emotionally well, by being abusive or unfaithful, yes, and making you feel unworthy, unloved, and that is also terrible, very bad. Or sometimes bring bad friends home, you know, and make trouble also. In many ways, you, know, you have to notice, okay? Take note and uh, try to correct the relationship if, if it's hurting you. Hmm? 
Or if you are hurting the other partner, you also need to reflect uh, and then try to change it. Okay? Yes. Okay. All right. Just take note, okay? But don't don't always uh, keep a uh, negative <laughs> uh, projection, you know, about that person. It just have to happen or it doesn't happen. You don't keep looking for fault, okay? It's not like that. If it really already happening, then you have to reflect and say, thinking why, okay? Is that your fault or is not? Is it worthy this relationship or not? Understand me? Or is it redeemable or not? Is it possible to talk to each other and make it better or not? Okay? Mm. Try. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, no, no, no. What did I want to do? <laughs> After you said you had good news. Good news? Ah, yeah. That's right. Where was it, the good news? Ah, okay. No, today I just uh, happened to see in the news that the UK, you know, England, uh, forbid uh, all the cigarette uh, advertisement as well as uh, um, display. Right? You know that? So I knew too late or something? Tell me more. Tell me more. They can't even display the cigarette for sale openly anymore in, in shop. Not vending machine, nothing. And this is some small shops still do it because it belongs to them. It's small together. They don't know where to hide it. Maybe good excuse, but not even to show it anymore, anywhere visible. Even the, the youth, the young people, okay with it. They feel it's a good thing. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> they think it's good like that, because if it's not uh, a sh a showing, obviously, then you're not tempted to buy. Yeah, It's true like that, too. You know, at home, I eat only once a day, and I have to work hard at it sometime to eat. Just because I'm boy, <laughs> I have a break from long hours meditation, you know, something to comfort the mind. And I eat only once and very little. Here they cook and spread the whole table. Even if I'm not hungry, I feel like eating. Mm. It's a pity not to eat, you know, it's there, why not, you know. And all my favorite Vietnamese food, imagine. You know, it's just like if you are Spanish, yeah, and they spread around paellas and, you know, churros and whatever that is, yeah? Your favorite food. And your mother used to cook them, then of course, you. even if you don't like hungry, you also like to taste a little bit. A little bit here, a little bit there, and then it becomes a little bit here. <laughs> See, so I have to wear dress today because trousers don't fit <laughs> the zip. <laughs> <laughs> the zip doesn't go up. <laughs> yes, even that. Hmm? Even that. Even we are very disciplined people and we know we shouldn't eat too much, but if it's temptation, it's temptation, you know what I mean? Terrible, terrible. Okay, maybe we have to burn the food. <laughs> no more display, out of sight, out of mind. All become breatharian. Hoorah! Ah, the, the person who learned breatharian, no, waterian with the Chinese nun, is she still here? Downstairs somewhere or not? All gone home already. Come up, let us laugh at you because you're stupid. <laughs> After 21 days, you should have been going on. Continue, yeah? After you already can can withstand 21 days. That is, your habit should be gone by then. Ta 然后看别人吃就跟着吃，然后就掉了。Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. She, one of uh, your sister, went to the nun. You know, remember there was one nun that waterian. She, uh, in China, 
she doesn't eat for many years and she teach other people also not to eat. And one of your sister went and learned with her and also cannot, don't eat for 21 days already. Just drink water. And then, and then I say, why? And then what happened? She say, Sini ma? <笑>然後呢現在還繼續吃嗎或是還不吃了那是另外一個人啊那是我媽媽那不是你媽媽那另外另外我不是舉手的媽媽現在還繼續不吃嗎現在吃吃吃吃吃吃吃吃吃吃
。哎呀，啊，我也是这么想的。等他坚强以后再回来做饭没关系。对，还有我们饭店有一个就是做早餐的，他也在饭店工作，然后还断了二十一天。嗯，断二十一天，他的他做早餐嘛，做那小咸菜糊那个土豆，嗯、他情不自禁的就把那土豆拿放到嘴里了，完嚼嚼嚼，然后吐出去。他说：“哎呀，我在辟谷呢。”然后在饭店还闭了二十一天，他以前有那个皮肤病哈，然后后来闭了二十一天之后呢，那个皮肤病也没了。啊啊，那个身体，然后就是他说的，我在饭店哈，这个辟谷成功，他我就感觉在饭店反反而那个会有加斯利，他说。OK， 嗯，<笑>因为什么人呢？如果不行，我们打坐吧哈。OK， my g o d you want to ask again? You have a lot to say, don't you? Yeah, I just wanted to say that after meeting you with the huge love you have for all of us, it's um, I feel I feel very blessed to be here, but I'm also sad that it's the retreat is is finishing. Mm. And and also that all this talk about enemies and and lovers and all that, it's like. You know, with your love, the way you love people and humans and and the whole planet is just. It's just so beautiful. I don't think it's possible to find that kind of love anywhere else. Obviously, God, God's love. So that's yeah, that's really what I want in my life. It's thank you. It's such a gift to the world. And are you welcome? <laughs> yeah. If I am that good, then it's good for you. <laughs> I I really love you very much. Thank, thank you, love. I know, I know, I know. I feel it. I feel your love like the dogs I met today. <laughs> Yes, if we all can love each other like dogs, eh? Like the love of dogs, really, you can feel it. Obviously, oh, so obvious. Oh my God! You know, after I left the dogs and go many kilometers away, I just feel so sorry that I couldn't have stay and hug him and <laughs> talk to him a little bit longer because he just look at me just like one of my dogs, but so quiet and respectful, not making noise and. Catching attention? No, so quiet. Not that he doesn't know how to bark. He barks a lot. I know that. But just come out and just <laughs> look at me. <laughs> My God. Yeah. I will prepare some bones for him when I pass by. I just hang it by the gate if he's not there. But I'm sure he'll be there. They are guard dogs, you know. Normally they bark very loud if you go near the house. But the house is gated. They jump out. Stay right in front of the car, like okay, you know you can't pass unless you say hello. <laughs> really making a statement. Yes, dogs they don't do that either. They bark or they jump around, but they don't stay right in front of your your car and just staring at the two light like nothing can hurt them. It's incredible. These dogs they just steal my heart all the time. They compete with you guys. <laughs> Okay, love. You enjoy your love. Hmm? <laughs> Master, I'm a little bit shy to tell you something. No, don't it's be shy. It's about the relationship with my mother. It's really, really, I can't tolerate. Oh. I really cannot tolerate. Oh, what happened? <laughs> you stay it's with like, her? No, we don't stay, but emotionally she's... Like possessive, you know. You oh, have to do what she wants. You have to uh, okay. really, uh, you know. Even when I went to visit her, uh -huh. I could not meditate. You know, she's doing bang, bang. Okay, you know, um, putting on the TV so mm -hmm. that it disturb. Okay, I said I don't do nothing. Can I have just peace? Uh -huh. Just okay. One how hour. long normally you may, you visit her? One day, a week? Uh, no, it's Once because a month? It's, she's far away. She's, so, she so lives how long? In, She lives in Israel, but when I meet her, when I go to visit her, oh, you don't visit her that often, then try to bear it. But she she thinks that I abandon her because she's at the age of seventy and oh. and she needs me, and uh, you know I have some difficulties to bring to sponsor her because it, to in Canada it's a lot of, it's not easy but to okay, find see. a permanent <laughs> job understand. and to sponsor her. You have to have oh. enough salary. Okay, I understand. And well, uh, how about? Does she know computer, email, and stuff? No, we talk. We talk on talk? the phone. Okay, then it's fine. But uh, every time she calls, and then I get really depressed. When you talk about mm -hmm. now the relationship, I 
I don't know how can I how can I take it. You thought I I talk about you, huh? <laughs> I understand, love. But I don't know. What, listen, how can I do that? Listen. Every time she talks, maybe she talk long hour on the phone. She you, blames me. She she insults me. She oh, says that mind. you, you Just recite me. the five names. I did so many things for you. Mm -hmm. I, I I I gave you all my life. I devoted, and you were like a princess. And this is what I'm getting from you. But she doesn't understand. She thinks I'm in Canada or anybody is in United States. He, uh, Rich they, and they have uh, diamonds on the trees and uh, understand, understand. on the floor uh, yeah, on yeah, the ground understand. there is a billion dollars. So yeah, they okay, don't okay. understand it. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Listen, she is very old already and very and lonely. She has been even before she was like that, but now uh -huh. it's even getting worse. Because she's lonely, okay? Suppose you are her, uh, because you don't visit her that often. So please, when you visit her, even if she don't let you meditate, it's okay. Yeah? Meditate when she's already asleep. Try to accompany her for a while. Imagine you are her. I'm not trying to side with I your know, mother. I understand. Okay? I'm not trying to side with your mother, and I know you. You you must have been very very depressed, you, exhausted, exhausted already. Exhausted, yeah. Yes, yes. But I only, went through mm -hmm. everything what you said today. It's as if you address these things to me. Mm -hmm. I understand it, my karma. Yeah, but you're already I, far away from her. Be happy, even, master. Even though you huh? know emotionally, she's. I don't know how. How, how does she do it? She ca call you and blame you? She calls you? me, blames me. All the time? Every time. Every day? Not every day, but it's enough if she calls me once once a month. And it lasts you many days? Oh, oh not many days. Months and, and, and years. Understand, understand. Uh, uh, Why did you have to take all that personally? Just think that she's talking about somebody I feel, else. I feel also guilty that I cannot help her because understand, understand. I had a good intention to okay, do that. But understand. It, there are circumstances that it's mm -hmm. not in my is hand. She, okay, understand. Is she oh, okay there? She's like any money, anything? She's, she's still, she's still okay. alive. She's very independent. And then very so why are you feel guilty? It's, it's a feeling. I cannot explain. It's just like that. It's okay. Um, it's how, just a karma. How can I handle? How can I take it? This okay, listen. Okay, whenever she talks to you, she just needs someone to listen only. So you just say, oh, yes, ma, yes, 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 and recite the five names blessing her instead. Listen, but not listen. Understand, understand. me? Don't take it in. Uh, she just needs someone to blame because she's lonely, she's old, and she feels rejected. She feels rejected. Yeah, of course. She went through a lot of... Uh, suffering? Suffering. That's war, also why. War, war in my country. We yeah, have to of run course. away. We you were see? refugees. And I understand, but what yeah. can I understand. do? What can I do? I know, I know. She just needs you to listen, so you just listen. Okay? Listen like a story and recite the five names. And if you don't want to listen, just uh, hang up. I, I don't, don't hang up. Just leave it there. Leave it there, and then now and then say yes, mom. Yes, mom. And just keep saying I love you, mom. I love you. Just say I love you. Whatever she say. But master, I want to also tell you that I have to admit. Yes. She's very, very generous and loving mm. and caring. Yes. She has done things that. I don't believe that there is any mother that can do. Okay. But also, she's very possessive. Like you, she cannot give you brief. You know that. But you're too far away. You're from Canada. And even then, when I visited her, I. But you don't go. visit every day, do you? Oh, I, don't, I cannot. I don't know what. To okay, do. okay, okay. Well, as I told you already, don't take it for personally. She suffered too much, and she needs someone to listen. And who else except you? Yeah. You see, she has only you to tell all this story because you know the story. You see? And all people are like that. Maybe I'm still young, but when I'm 70-something, you, you don't know what I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> only now, and I'm so young, I'm still complaining a lot already about my drivers, about... <laughs> my dogs about she keeps complaining about her mother the mother and then husband the same and with me look at me just because i'm not complaining about you then you feel nothing listen okay we i and your mother have the same problem except <laughs> 
except it doesn't concern you, my problem, so you don't feel anything. But because she's your mother, so you feel something. Listen, just, just listen like, okay, that's master talking. <laughs> yeah, and take it as like cleansing your karma and take some burden from her. Recite the five names, whatever she say, you just have to say now and then, yes, mom, yes, I'm so sorry, mom, I love you, mom, and recite the five names. And on the other end, she will feel your love and blessing instead. Okay. And then maybe she will stop. Maybe she realizes that she talks too much about things that is, oh, people, they're lonely, they talk like that. I'm not old yet, so please don't make me feel like in the future. <laughs> in the future, maybe I will call you and on and on about my father in heaven or my mother already in the fifth level. I never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love you. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, I'm sorry. I haven't done anything except making fun of you, but what what shall we do? Listen, she's old already. Maybe she won't last that long. Just just love her, recite the five names all the time. Remember, whenever you pick up the phone from your mother, you write down your hand already. Five names only. <laughs> five names and yes, mom, no, mom, yes, mom, no, mom, yes, mom, no, mom, I love you, mom, I love you, mom, yes, mom, I love you, mom, five names. <laughs> She just needs someone to listen and sympathy. And you, you just take it uh, too personally, okay? Because she attacks. I know, I know. She, she attacks and I feel guilty. Why? I don't, I don't know. If it's not your fault, why feel guilty? She's still alive, you, she don't need your money. That's how I feel when she okay, talks then to me. It's okay, she's old, man. Maybe she's not okay here after too much suffering. Understand? Have you ever thought about that? I maybe already she, maybe about she's that. not well. Is she traumatized? Yes, yes. And she yes. stay in that uh, area all the time in that period of her life. Yes. Where there's so much suffering, and then it keep repeating to her, and, and nobody has healed her. That's that's why she should have gone to psychiatric or something, some Master, counseling. How she is my mother. I still love her. How mm -hmm. can I help her? Is there you recite, any way that I, I pray, the five name. I pray, I do and everything? How about send some picture and a song for her to listen? You know, I, I put a small book of yours and she says, who is she, who is she? I said, no, 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 it, it's a good book, you, you just leave it, it's a nice mm -hmm. uh, spiritual book. Why, mm -hmm. why? No, no, I don't, uh, well, okay. well uh, she starts to, uh, uh, you know, uh, she, she was afraid, so I, wa I, I wanted to help her, but uh -huh. how? Okay, then forget it. Don't force her. You just uh, uh, meditate and dedicate some of your merit to her from afar, okay? Please remember, she's very, very old. No matter how bad she is, she has excuse, yes. okay? Yes. You never know how you will be when, when you become 70 yes. and yes. lonely, yes. you know? Uh, she's not possessive. She's just too desperate. She clings to you like a wood board in, in the ocean, you know? Because nobody else uh, would bear yes, her. Yes, 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 yes. So please, uh, please just recite so the I five understand. names. Just don't bear nothing. Don't have to bear anything. Listen, if you watch TV and there are a lot of drama going on, people are crying, talking, and uh, you also feel bad? No, you don't. You know, it's just TV. So same, take your mother as an objective, okay? Yes. Always recite the five names and think only of God for her. And in the other end, she will get blessing without you even saying anything. Thank you, Master. You recite this while you're listening. You don't have to listen because you know her story already. I even if forget uh, the five... Uh, five when because you're to too me, uh, fixed in listening to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you already know her story. Why listen again and again? Might as well buy a record player and, <laughs> <laughs> and learn by heart. Eh? Sorry to tell you this story. No, I, no, I, I understand. Want it, but I, I understand. Karma is I like that. Could not just. I Karma is like that. Love. Karma makes you feel like everything so personal and so bad. But suppose you are the third person like me, okay? Like she's talking to me like that, and you just the third person. Would you feel hurt? Just take yourself out of the conversation. Watch it only. Understand me? I will try. Yes. Uh, um, and just hold into your heart and think of love. And don't listen. I mean, listen, you hear, but you don't listen. Understand me? You, you, you remember the five names. Okay. Or you can take my picture and hold and think of me instead. 
Okay? okay. Suppose I am her and I am like that. You will still love me anyway. I still love her. Yes, so I okay. love her. I okay. cannot say I don't. I, I love her very much. I understand. But hmm. I understand. Believe me, I understand. It's just you just have to understand her also, hey. Yes. She's yes. too lonely, too old, and she's afraid. Afraid, yes. Yes, she's yes. afraid and she she's has a fear. And that fear it reflects on me also. Yeah, I know. This fear she she, she how project on you, yeah, yes. Yeah. She tried to share it because yeah. she has no one else. Okay, don't take it. Sure. Suppose suppose I give you some garbage and you don't want it. Then you don't take it. Understand? Don't take. If it would be stranger, I would not take it, but it's my mother. And you also you said that mother it's a representative I know, of God. I know so that. I have to give her respect. I have to give her love. Respect doesn't mean you have to suffer. Because if you suffer, you cannot help her. Understand? Yes. I told you, she just needs someone to listen. So you just hold the receiver and you don't say nothing okay. much. You just say, yes, ma'am, I love you, mother. Yes, I'm sorry. I know. I understand. And recite the five names so that she feels calm. Hmm? Okay. Because if you listen to her, then both of you are also, you know, uh, connected and you suffer like she does. Okay. You have to be stronger than her. You have to bless her. Huh? Okay. Don't forget the five names, eh? No. Wow, you powerful woman, my God. I will try. I will try. Thank right. you so much. And I'm very sorry to... Uh, write it on your, uh, on your hand or just say five, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Five. And then when you, you listen to her, you just try to remember the five names. Okay. Okay? And if it's too much, you just uh, put it far away and recite the five names by yourself. Understand? Sure. And she still think you're listening because it's the same story over again and again. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Yes. No? Is that yes. no? Yes. yes. I will. You know try. it by heart already. So maybe you talk back to her and say, Listen, mother, I know the end now. You, you listen. I tell you the rest of the story. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to make it light, but I, I know understand. you suffer. I know you suffer. The reason because you love her too much. Yes. But okay, you love her but wisely. Okay? You love her but with wisdom. Mm -hmm. So that you both are not drowned together. Right. You stay objective. Right. You let your mother talk and you are the disciple of Supreme Master Ching Hai. You recite the five names for both of them. Do you understand? This detach. Di detach. Yeah. Distance yourself from this conversation. Yeah? You bless both of them for me, sure. okay, huh? Thank you so much. Yeah, thank okay. you, thank you. Yes. Oh, every time you feel too bad, just pray to Master, pray to Heaven. Oh, please, <laughs> let me not forget the five names. Thank you. Yeah, okay? Sure, thank you. You can do it. I, with your grace only. Oh, you can, come on. You are Goddess inside. Yeah, don't, don't make yourself so weak. You're strong, you're tough. Big girl. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Next one. Just another new good news. Ah, is good news the, is good. Yes. Loving Heart Pension will participate on uh, Wagon Fest in Tuscany. It is the greatest event uh, in Euro Europe oh, yeah? of this kind. Yes. And we go all the way from Austria to Italy? Yes. Wow. Yes, we will stand in the uh, uh, kitchen laboratory. Wow. Yes, sure. and they, uh, we prepare a huh? speech also. Yo, yes. bravo. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, go get them. Mm. I <laughs> help them, yeah. Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> good, good news, good news. Yeah, yeah. Uh 因为师父说是不是有供养的,我想问问师父,像这种的就是不是同修的钱,我们能不能要? Okay, 
啊，我们不用他，而且他们现在通过这个，他们也给他们提倡，就是让他们特别爱动。我开始吃素。等等等哎，好，谢谢师傅。啊，不客气。Yes, you want? Yeah. Yeah, kính thưa sư phụ. À, mẹ con năm nay cũng bảy chục mươi tuổi rồi. Mẹ con à, nói nếu mà con gặp sư phụ hỏi dùm cây mẹ con muốn tâm ấn được không sư phụ? Bảy chục tuổi rồi sao tâm ấn? Are you the suffering? <cười> yeah. yeah. Crying too much, uh, get some liquid uh, dehydration, um, how you say, uh, uplifting. Yeah, 70 tuổi rồi còn thường tâm ấn yeah. gì nữa, ăn chay bao lâu rồi? Dạ, yeah, ăn chay được 4 tháng, ba con mất cái ăn chay luôn. Dạ, <cười> yeah. và tu phương tiện đi. Ha. Tu phương tiện hả? À, được rồi, rồi. được rồi. Dạ, okay. bây giờ biết định đòi tâm ấn rồi. Đủ không rồi, sao đủ rồi, ai biểu hồi xưa không chịu, bây giờ mới chịu. Yeah, yeah, bây giờ ơn. chịu sư phụ không chịu yeah, <cười> hồi xưa biểu không chịu bây giờ biểu sư phụ không chịu <cười> huệ nói với má huệ dạ yeah, yeah, cảm ơn sư phụ nhiều có chi ai biểu quá hồi đó biểu không chịu hả à? thì bây giờ sư phụ không chịu lại à? cho nó quen ok yeah, cảm ơn sư phụ à, có chi i'm sorry ha bảy à. chục tuổi là uh, tu phương tiện là tốt lắm rồi ok chưa yeah. yes ma'am sir <laughs> Young sir. Hi, Master. How are I, you? I'm okay. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you, mm -hmm. and my life has just been awesome yeah? ever since, and everything I've ever wanted oh, has wow. happened to me. Um, wow. I finished two degrees in that time, and I've got a great internship at the moment. Wow. Um, what are you in, uh, doing internship for? Um, I'm working at a NASA center in Houston. Uh huh. Uh, I've always wanted to go into space as a yeah, kid, and so yeah. I worked towards that. Wow! And that was sort of my childhood dream. Mm -hmm. um, I do have a little little friction with my mother as well, sort of similar to the other sister. Uh huh. She's a she's an initiate, and she loves you. Uh huh. And she wants me to be a resident. Uh huh. Oh no! But, uh, I love my life so much. I understand. And uh, I feel like I can make more of a difference oh, in the world. You by... tell her I don't accept you anyway. Thank you. <laughs> It's your decision, not hers. Thank you. And, and I've tried to tell her that, but, you know, in her mind, it's, okay, it's you, the goal, it's the utopian you ju thing. You just say, I apply and must have rejected me. <laughs> Thank you. That, that. Yeah, tell her not everybody must have accept. You know that very well, Mom. Hmm? Thank you. Okay. Is she here? No, she was here a few days ago. She's just oh. come back and oh, she so kept sorry. on calling me, making sure that I'd come here because uh -huh. she'd worry and stress. Okay, but that is nothing to do with yeah. this one. This, this is a completely different story. It's not the same like her. Yeah. Don't talk nonsense. <laughs> uh, tell mother, huh? Everyone has a different destiny. Hmm? Being a resident is good. Right. But not everyone can be. And at the moment, I think I cannot choose many residents right. either, you know. Yeah. I'm running around, so what are you doing resident right. for? You, you're doing resident in, in NASA, it's the yeah. same, same and, stuff. And personally, I, I don't really see myself being a resident. No, I don't see you as a resident either, so please stay out of it. I will, I will, and I'll let my mother know, thank you. So why, you want to tell me this? Oh, I, my mom, I just wanted it coming from you. That, that. So my mom stopped putting all this pressure so on So everybody me. give me hard time, huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> so blame me instead, huh? But she'll listen to you, not to and me. She knows that. She knows that I don't accept every right. resident and right. very difficult. Not everybody can become resident. And nowadays I don't accept anymore for the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before I was stationary, you know, in Sihu and... So all people just come to me and naturally we form like a small community. Yeah. And so every day I teach them and have fun with them, but now I'm running around so I resident or not is similar, okay? I'm glad you work at NASA. Thank you. It's good. It's very good job. Keep it and be excellent at it. Thank you. Okay, make me proud. I'll try to. <laughs> I'm proud also that you're already in there. Thank Tell you. your mom I'm very proud. She should Thank be. You. Yes. It's not everybody can work in NASA, you know. She should be very proud. I mean, you can work and meditate at the same time. Hmm? It's a job. And many, uh, many youngster, you know, uh, his age are not so brave like that. Not so, how you say, so good like that. Eh? Diligent and intelligent. 
But uh, mom is mom, you know, what can I say? <laughs> mom is a long story, everybody tell you different long story. It's just similar, just different, but mom is mom. Yeah. And sometimes they say mother-in-law <laughs> is also another thing. Oh, well, please, oh my goodness. You, I don't know what with you, you know. My mom also, she wasn't always the sweet and honey to me, huh? She was also very kind and generous and paid for many things that I can go to school, you know? Because uh, sometimes my father is too generous to other people, <laughs> so she has to take care of the family, yeah? But uh, mom also, mom, eh? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yes. And even then, when I saw my mother and my father, I feel so happy, happy, happy. I feel like I'm a child again, and I feel loved, and I feel so good, so good. I feel like I don't have responsibility for, for the, those moments. I feel like I don't need responsibility. I feel like I'm a kid again. I feel so loved, and I feel I have a parents. I feel so proud. So I don't know how, why you guys cannot just do that. Make her tea or something and cook something for her. Just be unconditional. Just let her blab on because she has a problem. She needs somebody to talk to. When she's too overwhelmed with sadness and sorrow and suffering like that, like the way she had, you know, with uh, being refugees, is a terrible situation. You have no dignity. You have to receive hand out and you, you never know if your children are going to be okay or not tomorrow and a very oppressive situation. I know that from the Vietnamese refugees. So she must have had a hell of a hard time, yes? I know it's not your fault at all. But please don't take it personally, okay? She's just uh, angry at the whole life, at the world, you know, situation. And, uh, and it makes her like that, yeah? It's a situation, it's not your mom, okay? It's not your mom. I wish the situation in the world would have been better or has been better so that nobody has to suffer like your mother. She is just a victim of our world and she has no one even. She doesn't even have a master. So you have to pray hard for her. Every day you meditate, you pray for your mother first before you meditate. I know you suffer from her, but please do that. Okay? From your heart. And then you feel better. You still don't, huh? Yeah? Listen, stop feeling for yourself. Feel sorry for her instead, okay? I don't care what she says. You don't have to take it. All right? Oh, what do you want me to do with her? Hmm? <laughs> She's old and she, she won't live that long, okay? So be nice to her before you, before too late and you will regret. Because you love your mother very much, that's why you suffer, okay? Love wisely, yeah? Mm. Ah, God. Poor mom and poor daughter. I I'm stuck in between, you know? <laughs> Do you have your husband? No. Yes? Boyfriend? Husband? Alone? Ah, oh, both lonely women, that's the problem. <laughs> Take everything so seriously. Do like her. Go out. Look for a girl boyfriend. Even if you haven't, even if you cannot find any, just go and look. <laughs> and then you tell all the story to the boyfriend and make him suffer instead. <laughs> because he's a man. He's tough. He can bear it. <laughs> Too much stress, no good for you. Look, it's so beautiful and so stressed like that. Hey, anybody can tell me what to do with her? <laughs> I mean, any advice? Huh? Go on, visit her mom. Yeah, and hug her. Just keep loving, loving. How long can she blame you if you keep loving? I mean, sometimes my dog are naughty, you know, and I feel like scolding them, but they just always wagging tails and, and look at my eyes like that, and how can I even scold them? And I have to hug them instead. Be like my dog, okay? Oh, my God, you know, my life is so busy, but the dog is so loving, I had to even have time for them. Sometimes I can't, I don't have time to eat or to rest even. But if they just come loving, working, tell, I just have to hug them, sit with them and talk to them and tell them how much I love them and how much I'm sorry to 
to have not enough time for them and not to walk them and let somebody else walk them and things like that. Be like a dog. Hmm? Please. Your mother need desperately love. She's too desperate. She's crying out. <laughs> crying out for love. Please try to be be the thing that you think impossible. Do the thing that no one else can do in your situation. Prove it to me. Make me proud. <laughs> you can. Because you have such a loving heart. That's why you suffer. But don't suffer. Solve it. Okay? Listen to her and just hug her. Hey, Mom, I love you. I, I know I'm going to cook you this and take you out. Movies, whatever. Mother and daughter. Or, or send her some loving notes, you know. Letter all the time. Every day. Every week, one letter. Yeah, because you, you cannot talk to her when she talks. She takes all the time, all the space, and <laughs> she talks and she listens <laughs> at the same time. So you have no chance. So you write, post, okay? Send her every, every week or every day, whenever you can. Just send a lot, a lot, a lot. When she reads, she can realize how you love her more than talking. Masters, mm. not only, you know, in my country it was war. Was a war against Armenians, and I'm half Armenian. Yes. And in Azerbaijan, it's a Muslim country. They had, they, they, you know, it was. We had to run away from the war because yes. it was really dangerous to live. When we arrived to Israel, my mother is not Jewish, so it's another. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you understand me? Understand. And me too. You know, yes. we were like a. You're like a, a garbage, outcast you know? outside. Yeah. You don't doc belong here. Doctors, you don't belong there. Doctors, they don't want to take care of you at work. They look at you badly. She I know. Has I know. To hide her nationality for this. <sighs> It's like we didn't do anything bad, but we have to hide. From, like criminal, from, understand? Like a criminal. My religion, I, I don't even practice my religion. I mm -hmm. don't even know. All I know always, I had an icon of Jesus at home. Mm. I'm, I was uh, baptized when uh -huh. I was a baby. Yes. You know, but what is my fault? Like, you know, these people are doing problems for religious purpose but we become like a big victim, victim of yes. in, in of these two countries so I have to run away to Canada uh -huh. but I knew that uh, it's my destiny to meet you I even went to Jerusalem uh -huh. uh, you know for the Jesus Nazareth to uh -huh. find I I went everywhere a any place to find to, to find, find something spiritual something permanent yeah. because and I'm tired of this stupid world yeah, you know, know the religious world this Arabs this uh. this, this Christian this Muslim I'm tired of this uh. stupid world yeah. you know we we were victim for nothing. Yeah, I know. We have to run away for nothing. I know. We didn't kill anybody, but we have to be everywhere hiding my nationality. What for? Understand. And and she got sick, I think, because traumatized. Yes. And I feel Stress. sorry that you know, like mm -hmm. she's only mother, and I cannot take care of her. And I feel very, very, very sad. Okay, look. Uh, can you find a good job or something? It's hard, these people. We had another problem. They don't like uh, immigrants. Can you move uh, to another city? I'm moving to Vancouver because it's really hard to live with them. Very, okay, very hard. Okay, then go somewhere else and then establish yourself and bring your mother over. Everywhere we go, mm? there is another, you know, religious or immigrants or religious mm. or <laughs> I don't know why mm. it's like this. Yeah. <laughs> stick with your brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Don't have to tell you. Tired what. from this world. Tired. Tired oh. from this uh, humiliation. From this uh, stupidity of the, the oh. religion. Religion problems. Tired of everything. I know. That's why I want something permanent. I want to release my life and release my mother's life from this stupid world. Trust me. You will. As you will soon be. as possible. Yeah, I, I can't not. take it anymore. <laughs> But not until your times come. I understand. I, mm. I, I, that I understand. But I just said how I feel. Yeah, I know. Now you understand your mother. I, I understand. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I take. I took your time, but it's just. It's okay. I, I, I didn't know. I don't know what to do. What okay. To do. Okay. It's so, too do, much. Do you know what to do now? I'm kind of idea. I want to move to Vancouver. Okay, do that. And uh, First step. I'm going to be with uh, another sister. Good. I'm going to move. 
and hopefully I may find a job so I can, you know, at least as you said, I, I have a duty. Mm. I feel I have to help my mother. Yeah, you no send matter. something home. Yeah, okay. I want to bring her. I want to sponsor her. I want to or be with her. Or at least uh, send some money home to make her happy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. It is my duty. I want to do that. But what can I do? I'm in this situation. And, and, and my I mother doesn't understand. Find job. Any job. Uh, yes. You can work in Loving Hood, for example? I, I, I worked, you know, but not in Loving Hood. I worked, but... Uh, in order to sponsor your parent, mm -hmm. you have to have a permanent job and mm. certain amount of salary. Oh. This is that's the rules. Mm. It's oh. complicated, complicated. My own mother cannot come to me. I understand, with me. understand. Yeah, but um, my parents also cannot come to see me. Uh, I mean, just for a while, and then later on they want to come back. They. Also, not allowed to. Hmm? I also have to accept it. It's uh, maybe part of karma. Eh? Yeah, Collective agree. karma yes. or personal also. Please. Compound. Yeah. Just uh, please accept it, pray, and try to look for a job. That's what I do all okay. the time. All yeah. the time. If you cannot sponsor her, then you have to tell her this situation and send some little money every month or something. That, and with a lot of loving The problem note. is, she yeah. does not want to accept. She says, I don't need this money. Don't, ac don't I don't, I'm not in need for okay, your money. Okay, then uh, send because gift. Because she wants to be with me. I know, tell her that you can't. Hmm. You tell her the law is like that. Hmm? Send some law fact from uh, the government, send it to her. Okay. So she can read it. Okay, if she doesn't believe you. And highlight the the conditions, okay? So that she read and she see right away, not the whole book, but highlight, you know, like, okay, if a sponsor, how much money, and blah, blah, blah. And you say you don't earn that much. Send her a salary uh, record so she knows you're not qualified, okay? Tell her I difficult. Yeah, tell her, if she, just tell her you love her. And just it break your heart to stay away from her. Write it so that she can read it better than when you talk because when you talk, you're too emotional and... You, you can't even make it uh, and uh, tell to head or anything. But if she read it, she, maybe she read again and again and she, she feel your sincerity. Because she, the written word will not run away like talking word. You see what I mean? She will keep it. Every week you send her something. She read it or not, doesn't matter, but she will. And she will feel happy and you will see her changing. Okay? Thank you, Master, and thank you for your time. Thank yeah. you for every single <laughs> word welcome. what you said. And for every minute that you... I am sorry. And I feel protected and I really love you. Even though I cannot show you, but in my heart, you're the only one in this world. I don't have no father. My mother is old. I lost my two brothers. I have nobody. You're the only one in this world. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, come here, come here, come here. Let me take some from you. Come here. Ah, oh, so sorry, my God. This world is terrible. Come over here. Can you please help me? Give your sister some comfort. I know you. I know because you are not her, so you don't really understand. But it's terrible to go through all this, you know, and to feel helpless, you know? To feel like you cannot do anything. I'm so sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. sorry too. Here. I'm very really sorry for everything. It's okay. <laughs> Just come. come. Can't help it. Come, I, know, I, know, I know. I know. Burden, burden. Too much burden. Too much sorrow. Repeating, repeating, and too much. You feel helpless. From one country to another country, I, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I said, if I have a chance, so I want to die, but I can't take it don't anymore. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> don't die, don't die. We want to see you when you have retreat. But you're lucky you can come to retreat, no? And you send some to your mother. Don't say anything, just send it to her, okay? You wrap it in something and just send one of them. You send it to her. Say, Mom, I have some good candy I want to share with you. That's it. Okay? She is not uh, abrasive. She is just a victim. 
She's just too traumatized of this world. Imagine you're so young and and you haven't gone through as much as what she has gone through, and you are so suffering like that. Imagine her. Imagine her, okay? And she's so old and has nobody, hmm? and no hope. You see, when we're young, we still have hope, like, okay, who knows, I will find a good job sooner, or find a nice boyfriend, take care of me. But she's old, she has no more hope anymore, understand? That's why she's so frustrated and, and so, so aggressive, because she's so desperate. She's just crying out. She doesn't know what she's doing. Doesn't know what she's saying. Just forgive her, love her, okay? No other choice, no choice. Even if she was enemy the past life, she's your mother now, and yeah. there's no other thing to say, okay? Mm. Thank you. Yes, but at least you are away, and you can have some breathing space and think of what to do to help her, you see? If you're with her, maybe even worse, you know, like both of you are drowning in emotional yeah. trauma and then one cannot help the other and it's even worse. Yeah? And at least you can come see me already. You're lucky. Hmm? Many people cannot. They have their own nationality. <laughs> they are in their own country. But some are not able to come for different reasons. What I mean is, not necessarily the refugees that suffer like you do. The people in their own country don't have freedom, don't have safety. You look on TV. Hmm? You look at Syria, uh, uh, Somalia, hmm? Mali. Many people in their own country. So it's not because you are refugees that you suffer. It's the world have problem, and no one really can fix it until all the karma is ironed out. Hmm? The collective karma of the whole country, and individual, and family, yeah? So many. <laughs> okay. Very sorry. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but I'm sorry. This word is really, as you said, what to do? I'm already immune to it. Yeah, now I just uh, do what I can <laughs> to you know, zigzag my way to finish my job. Hmm? I am not facing, not complaining, not caring anything. I just zig, zig, zag, zag. I work, you know, I work like this. <laughs> as long as it works, it doesn't matter, huh? Mm. I don't have to go all out to the world and prove I'm innocent or I'm good or I'm holy, whatever. Understand? I just zigzag humbly do my work. Because if I don't zigzag, <laughs> I can't do my work. All right, my love, eat the candy and feel life is sweet. <laughs> yeah.